Now, wherever you happen to live, the most important factor as to whether you're gonna be a good gardener or not is the condition of your soil. And the sad fact is that for most people in the South, we have really crummy soil. All you gotta do is go out in your backyard and try digging into that stuff in the summertime. It's like concrete. Let's say this is the condition of your soil and you wanna grow things. What are you gonna do? Well, you could hire a backhoe and have them come in and scrape off all that soil that you already have and spend a fortune, or you could build yourself a raised bed. So that's what we're gonna be doing today putting in a raised bed that will be productive even though the original soil underneath of it is awful. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some composted manure to this garden. Now, the second thing I'm gonna add here is soil conditioner. Let me just dump that in there. Finally, I got some unused potting soil. What the heck, it's good. If it's good for containers, it's good for a raised bed. Now, we're gonna take this hard rake, we're gonna smooth it out, we're gonna mix all those materials together, and after we're done, there is not a plant that will not be seduced into growing here. So in the end, why would you wanna have a raised bed? Well, maybe you're a beginning gardener, and you're kind of scared about how much time and effort and maintenance a big garden is going to take. You could start off with a bed like this, plan it up, be a lot less work, but wherever the case, in your yard, just remember all the soil amendments. Mmm, I just love the smell of organic matter in the morning. <laughs>